Hey there friends, welcome back to the farmhouse and welcome back for another video in my Fixer Upper Farmhouse series. In today's video, I thought it would be fun to take you back in time to when we first purchased the farmhouse and show you our DIY fireplace makeover from the very beginning. So I purchased this Gianni Brick Transformations whitewash kit off of Amazon for less than $40 at the time, but I believe the price has increased since then. If you're interested in checking out the product for yourself, I will have a link for it in the description box below. And here I'm just showing you everything that comes in the kit. I used to think I'm the problem That I was way too sensitive React and way too much Until I realized we were different types Carrying a different triggers Scaring us to death can hide our space forget the world outside just for as you saw, there were clouds of dirt and dust coming off this fireplace while I was sweeping it. I do not recommend using a broom to do that. We had literally just moved in and didn't have a vacuum at the time, but if we did, I would have definitely used a vacuum instead. Now, per the instructions on the paint kit, I am just cleaning the brick the best that I can with some warm soapy water and a scrub brush. Nothing fancy, I'm just using what I had on hand or what I could get from the dollar store. Oh, Oh, and if you're new here, hey there! My name is Candace, and our family of five, including our fur and feather babies, moved into this 1963 fixer upper a few years ago. To save money and stay within a tight budget, we are slowly renovating and doing most of the work ourselves with a ton of help from my father in law. I recently became a stay at home wife and mom, and here on my channel, I share mostly homemaking content, but I do also sprinkle in our fixer upper farmhouse projects like this one. So if any of that interests you I hope you consider subscribing okay so the box here says that this is a one-to-one -one ratio which I believe is eight ounces of the paint mixed with eight ounces of water with wiping it off with a rag just saw this picture when the box arrived at the house and he definitely <laughs> he said he definitely does not like this one which I believe is this picture right here so he says either this one or this one. I'm gonna try the one to two ratio first with the rag. So it's, I believe eight ounces of paint to four ounces of water mixed up and then wiped off with the rag. And then I'm gonna try the one to two ratio without the rag and see which one he likes better. Now that we see each other, can we slow down, start over? Come closer. Forget the world outside Just for a while Some way We will be fine Safe place Just you and I Always I will wait for us to what it looks like and I really really like the unevenness of using the rag in certain areas like wiping off certain areas it says to wipe but I'm just dabbing here and there I like this look I like the darker areas in some spots and the lighter areas in some spots I definitely know I don't want it a solid white but I don't really like the really washed out white wash so I think I'm gonna just continue as I'm doing where I'm just starting off like a light base all over and then adding more here and there and dabbing off here and there as I go.
A little background about this house. So when we bought it, Mila and I were living in Texas at the time because that's where my job was. And my fiance at the time, now husband Justin, lived in Maryland because that's where his job was. Well, this house is in a small country town in Virginia and I never got to see it in person before we bought it. But I remember seeing pictures of this old fireplace and literally daydreaming about burning a fire in it during winter and hanging stockings on the mantle during Christmas. I was born and raised in Hawaii. So to me, there are just some things that were reserved for other people and other places. Like the changing of the leaves during fall or the chill in the air when winter is approaching or snow and white Christmases or even a cozy brick fireplace. If you're new here, I refer to our little fixer-upper home as our humble slice of paradise, and it truly is. I've met people in our little town who've asked where I'm from, and when they find out I'm from Hawaii, they are usually shocked at the idea that someone would trade a place that they consider paradise for this little town. And although I do miss Hawaii, I wouldn't trade it for this. So whether you're new or a returning subscriber, welcome back, friend, to our humble slice slice of paradise when i saw you walking down that hill head high and shoulders back watching you was such a thrill all that i could do was laugh Now, although this paint kit has everything you need to start a project like this, I will say you may need to purchase another can of paint separately to finish your project. This of course depends on what ratio of paint to water you use and how much square footage of brick you're trying to cover. The kit does give you an approximate square footage that it'll cover, but I think that's only accurate if you use the one-to-one -one ratio mixture. Since I preferred a thicker mixture, I was only able to cover the front and side of our fireplace before having to buy another paint can to finish this project. And at this point, I didn't like how the color of the mantle stood out against the whitewash. So I just took some trim paint that we had and painted it white as well. After it dried, I went over it a few times with the soft sanding block to give it a distressed look. People knew her by her will To make it whatever she put her mind to Late night hours up the hill Serving coffee to strangers Talking about revenue She kept dreaming of a world Big enough for everyone she knew it must rain before it grows She kept dreaming of the day Butterflies survived the wheel Even though she could knock down and never show And here is a quick before shot to remind you where we started. Since this makeover, we have also put in a pellet stove, but we do still need to repair some of the loose bricks at the bottom. I want to thank you all for stopping by the farmhouse and spending time with me today. Don't forget to hit the like button on your way out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!